Computer simulations serve as an essential aid to those working in many scientific and engineering domains because they can help predict the outcome of real-world scenarios. Further, visualizations based on simulation output are useful when analyzing simulation results and communicating ideas between peers or invested third parties. With respect to creating visualizations, state-of-the-art tools rely on one of the four following interfaces to connect simulation output with visualization components. An intermediate connective interface. This is in the form of a separate interface window or pane. Here we see the connective interface of MATLAB Simulink. The three windows are the simulation model editor, the graphics model editor, and the intermediate connective interface to connect the simulation model components with visualization parameters. A component-based interface. In component-based interfaces, visual components are permanently linked to their core functionality. That is to say, the form, in this case the conveyor belt model, is hard-coded to represent a certain function. In this case, the conveying of an object from one location to another. A scripting interface. To demonstrate this interface, consider the 3D modeling package Blender with the 3D geometry editor and the Python scripting window. Scripts are used to code simulation dynamics and can also access visualization parameters present in the 3D scene. A pure programming interface. Here simulation models are coded and graphics libraries such as OpenGL are used to code the visualization. As we review the four interface types, it becomes apparent that simulation model building and low-level visualization design are quite disjoint activities in current human-computer interfaces. Our research is concerned with shrinking this interface and interaction gap between simulation model building and visualization construction. The ultimate goal is to build an interface that is easier to learn and requires less interaction effort to build visualizations. To this end, we have defined a formal model that links domain knowledge, simulation dynamics, visualization parameters, and interaction affordances within one ontology. An ontology is a formalized knowledge structure that is understandable by machines and humans. The visualized ontology forms the basis of our synthesized integrative interface. For demonstration purposes, we will present a case study in physiology simulation. We will create a visualization based on the classical Binnikin 10 compartment model for blood flow. The following interactions are occurring in a visualization designer we created. Here we have a concept in the ontology representing the heart. Concepts are represented by spheres and positionable in 3D space. Let us add an attribute to the concept called mesh. We will assign a value of heart underscore 2012 dot mesh to the attribute. This points to a mesh file of a heart we purchased online. The mesh appears rooted on the concept. Here we see two fundamental components of the ontology, the concept and the attribute. In our interface model, attributes have meta-level properties. For example, let us add another attribute called rotation and mark it as a variable, that is a vector, and is adjustable. Let us also add a material to the heart. Aside from concept and attribute, another fundamental component of the ontology is the relationship. Let us add another node called right atrium and position it accordingly. We'll add a has-a relationship connecting the heart to the right atrium. Relationship visualizations can be sculpted into 3D curved paths by the designer. Here we see a visualization of the Binnikin blood flow model represented by the peach colored edges. Its path curves through the heart to trace the path of blood flow in 3D space. 
Now let's discuss using the ontology visualization to rig the mesh in order to create an animation of a beating heart. Each concept can be given an influence. Influences will affect meshes according to the has a relationships in the ontology. In the case of this visualization, we added an influence of elastance to all four chambers of the heart. Elastance is a variable in the underlying simulation model and therefore will be continually updated when we execute the simulation. We set the influence destination to scale and tweak the scale amounts to achieve a desired heart beating effect. Another way to leverage the ontology visualization to create expressive visualizations is through the use of particle systems. Particle systems can be attached to relationships. The flow rate of the particle systems can be linked to simulation variables at their source and destination concepts. In this example, particle flow rate is linked to the simulation variable blood flow. This results in a pulsing motion of the particles in the arteries and a smoother flow in the veins. As a final point, let us demonstrate the potential of the creation of viewer modules. Viewer modules are ontology-based visualizations with much of the design interaction removed. That is, ontology concepts and relationships cannot be relocated, and only attributes marked as visible in viewer by the designer can be seen. Here we demonstrate the ability to drag attributes of a concept into the 3D scene for a more detailed visualization. Attribute visualizations stay rooted to their parent concept in 3D space. While in the viewer, we toy with the resistance between the extrathoracic veins and the right atrium, and plot the effects on blood volume in the left and right atria. This concludes our presentation. Thank you.